Hello, and welcome back to Taiji. Seems the save system is just exactly where you left off. I just tested it out, just saved and quit, and start up the game again, and yeah, you're just exactly where you were. Hey, just like the witness! So, let's uh, continue exploring here a little bit, and see what else we can discover about all these mechanics. Yeah, I mean, we know- oh no, yeah, yeah. We know this, that they can combine into Tetris pieces, which really helps to have played The Witness for. And those are like marked in the sense that you can't flip them. Yeah, sure. So this is definitely a good tutorial area. Oh, I see. Ah, okay. So we do this and then like... Oh. Okay, what do we do now? Hold on, reset. This one we can't switch. So these two have to be black, which means this one has to be white. Which means this, these have to be just like that. There we go. Yeah, yeah, just checkerboard it. Okay. But it also doesn't seem like these do anything, like completing these puzzles. These ones allow you to progress, but everything else just seems to be, you know, just, just complete it. Because why wouldn't you, I guess? But we'll see if there's some other reason at some point. Yeah, we can go under here as well. Is that just back? Oh, I see. Yeah, we've been here. Uh-huh. I did see there is an auto-run option in here, and I'm considering maybe uh, trying that. Where is it? Oh, here. Yeah. Auto-run. I forgot to check the, uh, the controller. I'll do that after the next one, or after this one, just to see how controller controls work in this. So now I'm just automatically running, and I can hold shift to walk. Maybe that's better, because I imagine most of the time you'll want to run, and there's only a few situations where- oh, colored flowers. Like the witness. There's probably only a couple situations where you actually want to, like, walk when you're doing those puzzles and stuff. Binary graves, huh? Uh... No? Do we add these together? Or something? Oh god, that's- that's confusing. So it would be like that? This? No. That's not it. And it's not just the bottom one? No. Hmm. Yeah, I figured if we, like, add these together, it would make one of these, like, we'd make two in binary, but then we already have these two. Which would then leave, like, it would be a four, but then we would have a two remaining from this first column. So it would be one here, one here, and then one, one, one. But that doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Yeah, not sure I can figure this one out quite yet. Yeah, I mean, it's just showing, like, counting in binary. Zero, one, two, three. Uh, where's four? Here. Four. Five. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah. Sure, but what do we do with that? Kind of weird to just add in binary, like, not that it's overly complicated, but it's a bit of a strange game mechanic, I feel, to just, like, shove in. 
So, I mean, this is like 19? And what would this be? That's 64, I think. Uh, 72, 75, and 19? I don't know if I'm counting right, but what what would that do? 19 and 75? Wait, did I say 75? Or 70? Yeah, 75. So 94. Just like how you would type 94 in, uh, in binary. Because, yeah, we can't use this one. That would be 96. So, yeah, it, it would just be the thing that I did, right? Yeah, that's, that's 30 plus 64 would be 94. So, it's not plus. It can't be subtraction. It can't really be, uh, like, multiplication or anything, because we don't have enough zeros to go through. I have no idea. I don't know, uh, what we're looking at. Man, there's so many areas that- okay, th this game must have been inspired by The Witness. Like, this looks like The Orchard, you know? There's many different mechanics and areas that seem very Witness-like. Hey, Christmas! Good thing I waited until December to play this game. It was a Christmas game all along. Yeah. We'll have to wait with the whole binary thing. I don't know what we're doing there. This looks complicated. Do these have to be, like, paired or something? No, that doesn't work. I just figured it would be, like, keep them all together. But maybe these also have to be together, but that's not possible. I don't know if that's the tutorial puzzle or if there's a better one. Yeah, again, right off the bat, I am noticing that, which is a bit... I don't know if that's a negative or what. I mean, it's just just explore more, but yeah, unlike the witness, it doesn't like incrementally increase the complexity of the puzzles. It's just like shit's just everywhere. You know, you just have to run around until you find something you can solve, I guess. Oh, I skipped some areas, I see. Uh-huh. Because, yeah, it's hard to know if I've, like, missed the tutorial for binary puzzles or for those diamond puzzles. Or if that is the tutorial. I guess these aren't, like, binary. It's, like, something about gates. Logic gates. Like, does one and one cancel out? So it would be this? Oh, okay. I think I get it then. But yeah, that's that's kind of confusing, honestly. Like, I wouldn't really call that intuitive, because you kind of just have to understand the concepts of binary and, like, logic gates already, which I'm never a huge fan on, like, needing prior knowledge in that sense. Like, that was what The Witness does really well. It's everything is completely intuitive, but... I mean, I guess it is relatively simple anyway, so, yeah, like, we just get that, yeah, okay, alright, so, this was kind of a good binary tutorial, logic gate tutorial, uh-huh, and now they're, like, offset slightly, so you need to worry about that, yeah, oh god, <laughs> I see, Yeah. Now that I understand it, it's not too bad. Uh. Wait, no. No, no, no. Opposite that. 
like so, yeah. Because they're just blending everything together. Just that? No? I thought that would just be nothing. Huh? What? Why that? That I don't quite understand, because here it's like, it's slowly kind of smooshing them together, so it's still 0 and 1, 1, 1, so this becomes a 1, or like, this is on, this becomes off, this is on, on, off, on, and here the same concept applies, where like, this is just two zeros stacked on top of each other, so off, off, two ones, off, these two are like, different, so on, on, and off. But here, there's like nothing setting them apart. I mean, I, I guess maybe that's just a, a curveball. It's actually just since they are just squares, just press those squares or something. I don't know, that, that's kind of weird. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, because now we have different ones. And I still don't know what this mark thing is. That, wait, that was right? Why was that right? Hold on, if I do this, that's wrong. Yeah, and it's not about marking. So, why? Why is this unlit and this... Why are these the same? Oh, because... Wait, maybe it's because, like... In this case, that actually is just the number zero? And this is the number one, it's just one... No, no, but... No, that, that doesn't really make sense either, because this is two ones that cancel out. Otherwise, it would be this way. If these were, like, just a curveball and actually numbers, just one number at this point. I don't really get that. That seems odd to me. And now it's just the same, but, like, horizontal. So... That shouldn't be bad, yeah. Huh? Okay, so again, why? Because this one has... Huh? Yeah, they have the same number of digits. So why would this one, like, add one step? I don't understand that. Because of this dot? The dot is marking, like, where you start? Is that what it is? So, like, because the dot is here, this line starts from here and ends here. Like, this corresponds to this square, and this corresponds to this square. But because the dot is here, this tile corresponds to this square, and this one corresponds to that. It's like mirrored because the dot is here. And here, the dot is here, so this will have this pattern, but then we have to add in these ones, which then... I mean, would that be over here then? So that would cancel out, cancel out, and, and cancel out. Yep. I guess? I certainly am not feeling the same kind of, like, intuitive satisfaction as from The Witness, where you're like, Ah, oh, I get it, I understand exactly how these mechanics work. Every step of the way, this is just kind of like adding more confusion, I feel. So we start with just, like, adding these in, I guess, and then going from here... Remove that, add in those, remove that. That makes sense, at least. And now, like, this is two lines. One starts from here, one starts from here. That's why we join them together. So one will be this. And then from the other side, we remove this, add that, remove this, add that, remove this. There we go. That's fine. Oh god, wait, what's- what? What's happening now? I guess it just cuts here in the middle. So you just have to assume, since this is seven digits, 
there's just like no that there's because there's only there's seven digits i guess this one starts from here and uses seven digits and then this one starts from here and uses seven digits so they share the one here as the last digit or something so wait uh Wait, what am I doing now? Just this. Yeah. And then on the other side, this stays on, that gets added, this stays on, this gets... This stays off, in that case, with zeros, or does it stay on? I think it's off. But then off and on, and on. Yeah? No, well, we have one of these again, whatever they mean. Yeah, but now the blocks, I don't understand what the blocks mean. That's what I don't get. That was like on the door here. Why is this solution this one? We add those two in. Like, is... When it's a block, is it just... I don't know, man. So, like, the first one would just be this, I guess? And then from the other side... It would be... This and that? No. Yeah, there's definitely something I don't understand about these. I don't know if we can go back to, like, the graveyard or something to maybe make more sense of that. I really just don't get this step of the process. Why squishing this together here suddenly makes them, like... All join in, then like what what is the distinction between this tile and these tiles when you can't tell here if you're looking at just a cube or one of these that is actually supposed to be on. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. No. I just have to Wait with this and come back. This might help as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a little chart to show that if you have two zeros together, I guess this is sort of what explains the whole logic gate manner of thinking. If you have two zeros, it becomes black. If you have one uh, on, on either side, it becomes white. And if you have two of the ones, it becomes black. So that, that explains that. The, like, thinking of the, uh... I forget, is that a NOR gate? Or an XOR gate? That's a an XOR, right? XOR, exclusive OR. I forget, I don't know much about, like, logic gates and stuff. So let's just go back to this graveyard and see if this makes sense now. I mean, that still, like, would just be... Oh, there we go. Yep. So that does make sense. Oh god, now we have three lines. I mean, I assume that's just, like, the same. These now cancel out? Yeah, so it's, it's just all addition. So that cancels out is odd numbers, yeah? Odd numbers get toggled, even numbers cancel out. Yeah? I mean, that's no problem, at least. It's just when they add in, like, blocks and hollow cubes that I don't understand. So we'll have to see about that later on. 
And once again, like you complete the graveyard and nothing happens. There is nothing, nothing to them. You don't get like rewarded or any lasers shooting up at a mountain or anything like that. At least not yet. Uh, I mean, like, that's this one. What does that mean? Huh? This seems like a tutorial puzzle for this mechanic. Like, that seems like it should be simple enough. But I don't know how. Like, it's mimicking this flower patch, but maybe that doesn't matter? Why? Why was that correct? Why did I even do that? I have no idea. Huh? Oh. Ah. Okay, I don't know exactly how to, like, explain it, but, I mean, since this is adding to one and we're leaving three out... But what happens to the center tile then? Like, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Oh. What? So the colors don't matter, I guess? It's just the kind of, uh, the separation between them? Yeah? Oh, so, just, no? Huh? Yeah, what does the center block matter? Why? The center block... Is the majority? Is that what it is? No. That didn't happen here. What? No, that's wrong. Oh boy. I don't understand that at all. What the hell is going on with these colors? I very much do not understand. This is definitely something I, I feel like I might have to look at more. I just don't don't know why this works the way it works. See? So we can do that to, like, make bridges. But only one at a time. This one can have three. This one must have one. But doesn't that invalidate this solution? Now that becomes a two. Wait, can we just do as many as I want? No. No, it has to be this way. Well, okay, let's go back here then. Wasn't there a teleport here somewhere? There's a shortcut gate here. Oh boy. Yeah, here's the problem. I do not understand these tiles yet. I really do not understand these tiles yet. What the hell? It's just about like what tiles this one connects to, I guess? 
Hold on, let's go back through these old ones to see if I can... Uh... Ah, man, I wish I could have, like, a simpler, uh, simpler path. Like, the yellow ones always show how many tiles... How many sides of this center cube need to be connected to something? So, like, here, one tile needs to be connected to this center cube. Two tiles. Three tiles. Four tiles. No tile needs to be connected to this center cube. And it's, it's depending on the color of the cube. So if we could change this, if I could change the uh, center cube, I could change it here and it would still say okay. Because the actual color doesn't matter, just that it's like three of them now have to be connected to this. And the fourth side, which is purple, has to like be disconnected. So again, like one is disconnected, three are disconnected. That seems to be it. One is connected. And this one we can change. Yeah, okay, so here... If we change this... It's still the same. That still works, and this still works. And that still works. Yeah, this one is like flexible in that manner. Here we can't change it, and they're purple, so they can't... None of the ones touching can... Be marked. Okay. I don't know if like... I'm thinking about it in the right way, but that seems to be correct for now, anyway. I should probably end it off, but let's just see if I can figure out... Uh, I, I guess I should do these first. So, yeah, we can't change these. One needs to be connected to here, and, like, this needs to do that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, alright. Okay, I get it. I think. I think I get it. Uh, yeah, one needs to connect there. We can't change any of these. But it's only the sides. Everything else doesn't matter, right? Yeah. And this could have been this way as well. This could have been this way. Yeah, so they're they're pretty flexible. Oh god, this is a different one. Okay, let's get the uh what? What do you mean? Ah, I see. So we have the waypoint. Let's see quickly if I can't unlock this as ah, it's gonna take too long. I'm I'm just gonna save here. We'll unlock that next time and play more here. I'm Feeling like I'm understanding this mechanic, kind of. And I also just realized we can probably look at these things up here. The colors that are being shown there might have something to do with that door up there that also had, like, blue balls or not balls. I don't know. But okay, I kind of like this mechanic more so than the binary logic gate kind of thing, but we'll have to go back to that eventually and uh, see if I figure anything out. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.